Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be cutting my hair. It's been a long time coming. You guys know I've been growing out my regrowth and the thing with damage is it's not just instant. Like, yeah, if you overprocess your hair, it's gonna fall out right then. But then the next like three to six months, your hair is gonna continuously break off and the damage just doesn't stop as soon as you like rinse off the bleach. It continues to break off and happen as the months progress. That's exactly what's happened with my hair. Um, my hair was fine back when I was bleaching it all the time. And then when I stopped bleaching it, the damage became more and more prevalent in my hair, especially growing out my roots and seeing how healthy shiny and thick these are compared to my ends i really noticed the breakage so because my hair has been continuously breaking off over the past nine months my hair is all over the place if i split my hair in the back and i bring them each around to the sides i mean they are totally different like this side is a lot shorter than this side is this side is like thick and normal this side is just thin and there's just not any hair on this side, especially if I ever try and style my hair, if I try and curl it or anything, the difference is so prominent and it looks horrible. So I cannot wear my natural hair right now. It looks so bad. So we're gonna cut it today. I've been holding off, waiting for it to grow out a little bit more and I can't wait anymore. I can't even style my own hair. So I'm just gonna cut it off so that way I can at least style my own natural hair. Let me show you the biggest problem area. So back when I started growing out my hair, I didn't have like any hair down here. You guys can see like this whole entire bottom section of my hair um, broke off. And you can see I just have the tips blonde. There's like barely any blonde clinging on here. So I'm thinking this is gonna be like my guide for where I want my hair to be. So I'm kind of thinking like collarbone length, like maybe right here. I know I don't wanna cut it all the way up to where my natural is. I would like to leave a little bit of this blonde on there. So maybe like up to here-ish, I'm not sure. I gotta look at the rest of my hair too. So you guys can see like all of this up here has broken off um, and it's like up to here. So I would like to cut it all maybe like this length. And then this side is going to be drastic because this side is thick and full and it looks normal. Like I wish all my hair looked like this because it's all thick. There's really not a lot of breakage on this side. It's just like nice, thick, normal hair. And then there's this side. It's just like thin, straggly. We've got all this breakage underneath here. So we're gonna try and even everything out today. I'm gonna be taking a lot off of this side, like literally a year worth of hair growth is gonna be cut off of this side, but I feel like it, it needs to be done. I don't really have a choice. This side is not giving me anything to work with, so we're gonna have to even them out and start fresh. I am just going to wet my hair and then we'll cut it. I thought about straightening my hair instead, but I think I'd rather just cut it while it's wet. It's easier for me. I go back and forth on whether or not I wanna cut my hair like literally every other week. I'm just like, no, don't cut your hair, leave it alone, it'll be fine. Just wait till it gets a lot longer and then you can cut it. And then like some days I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna cut it all off. Just keep in mind, I have not had a haircut since October of 2020. That was the last time I cut my hair and it was like up to here and it's been growing since then. Um, so I haven't had a haircut in two years, which is insane. So we're gonna cut it today. I'm gonna start off with less because I feel like less is more. I'm gonna grab this hair underneath here. Okay, here is the piece I cut. So I'm gonna try and cut all of it to like that length. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna start with a little bit off the bottom, like this much, okay. Okay, so we just cut a couple inches off. I don't know if you guys can see, I just cut that much off for now. Last time I cut it too short, too quick. We can always go shorter, but we can't always go longer. I feel like that was a good length. It kind of matched the hair underneath. I might take more off. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Okay. Definitely is gonna need some more work, but I like this length. I'm gonna have to take a little bit more off the back to even everything up, but I'm happy with the length. I don't think I wanna go any shorter than that. I feel like that made it thicker, and this side's gonna be really thick, like wow. I'm gonna try and match these two sides here. Again, too long is better than not long enough. Okay, I'm gonna start with this guide. Ooh, so satisfying. This side is gonna have a lot more hair coming off than the other side, obviously, because it's a lot longer and thicker and healthier. 
This side is probably gonna be like thin on the end still, uh, but that's okay. It'll grow out in the next like few months after summer's over. I'm just kind of like chopping off a guide right now. <laughs> and then I'll straighten everything up. Wow, I'm cutting off like a lot of hair on this side. I'm telling you what, it's gonna feel nice though. All right, we have it all cut shorter now. Let's see. Okay, good. So we have it cut. Now we just need to even everything because I know for sure <laughs> nothing's close to even right now. This is all over the place. Okay, so back here, obviously a little bit more needs to be taken off. Half an inch. So I'm just gonna comb it down, make everything straight, and then cut the rest of this off. Wow, I feel like I'm doing a pretty decent job. So my method is kind of all over the place. I'm just like combing the hair down and then I'm gonna bring it around and just like trim it like this. Not the best method, but it's really hard to do the back of my head. This will at least make it a little bit more even. Okay, so I'm just combing all the hair down, grabbing it at the end. And there I can see what I need to cut. So I'm just like going around my head and doing the same thing. Ooh, this side's looking very even. Again, this side is still going to be thin on the bottom because I need some more hair to grow in like this little section right here. But I feel like it'll be better. Ooh, this side feels so thick, it's insane. Also, another reason why this side is thin is because this is a side when I did half black, half rainbow, and I used like a demi-permanent dye. Um, I did it on this side. So this side had more bleaches, more color removers to remove out that black. So that's another reason why this side is so thin. I thought about cutting it like up to here, so that way it was really thick, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. It takes forever to grow out once you go like above the shoulders. Last time I did above the shoulders and it felt like it took forever to grow out. I think I need to blow dry it, straighten it, and then we can do some like final trimmings because I'm sure some spots aren't even. I need to make sure these sides are even. So let me blow dry it and I'll be back. Okay, so here's what it looks like just blow dried. I haven't straightened it yet. Just blow dried it real quick and it's looking pretty good. It looks like I did a decent job at getting the sides even. And so far, what I said is exactly what's happening. Like this side is like super thick because it was thick before. So it's like very, very thick on the ends and like healthy. And this side is still a little bit thinner. Just in this area right here where all of this breakage is, it's not quite to the bottom of my hair yet, but it's so much better than it was. And like now both sides are at least somewhat even and I can style my hair naturally. So let me go ahead and straighten all of my hair and I'll be back. All right, we are back. Hair is straightened and it looks pretty good. Like I would say I'm really happy with how well I did just for like the first rough cut. There's not, a lot I need to touch up. I'm just gonna go through and make sure everything's even. I even checked like the back and it looked pretty even. There was just a little bit in the middle that needed like the slightest trim. So I'm just gonna go through everything and make sure it's as straight as it can be. Now all of the short guys underneath here are the same length as the rest of my hair and it's awesome. Let me show you what the back looks like right now. Here's the side. Here's the back. It's pretty even, like I'm pretty happy with it. Here's this side. I would say it's pretty even. I'm just gonna check the back. This little tiny divot right here needs to go. Oh, look at that nice straight line. Okay, let me check this side. Okay, again, just need a little bit cut there. And we'll check this corner. Pretty good. Let me go grab a mirror and look at the back for myself so I can see if it's better or worse. I feel like that's good. I'm gonna stop there. The back looks so much straighter than it did before. Like as I turn, everything is very straight. 
It looks really good. It looks super even. It's so much thicker now, especially on this side. This side is like super, super thick. It's insane. Let's do a growth check because now that it's shorter, it's probably grown out like half the length of my hair strand. Okay, so here's how much it's grown out out of this much. So it's like close to halfway. I feel like by the year mark, it will probably be like halfway grown out. That's absolutely insane. If I measure like from here, it's like halfway grown out. Look at that. Literally, it's like halfway exactly. This is crazy. I love how thick it feels. It's like the perfect summer cut. It's gonna make swimming easier. My hair is gonna dry faster. I can now wear it naturally. Like I've just been wearing it up in a bun or braided because I really couldn't wear it any other way because of how different the two sides were. I love this length. That's what I was going for. It's like a collarbone length. It's not too short. This side was pretty much already this length anyway. Wow, I'm so glad I did this. I love it. It's so cute and summery and fun. It honestly feels like I'm wearing extensions because of how thick like this side of my hair is. I haven't had like thick healthy hair like this since I cut it back in October of 2020. I've just been like wearing extensions for thickness and now it feels like I'm already wearing extensions even though it's all my natural hair. Love that for me. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.